YouTube, Chris with Island Tech Productions here. Uh, today I wanted to do a follow-up to my previous video which was um, installing a brand new 4.4 millimeter or if you want to be technical 4.35 millimeter lens onto my GoPro and so I've been using it for roughly about a week and uh, this is it right here. The main reason why I made the upgrade for the lens because primarily I didn't like the fisheye lens so I wanted something a little bit more narrower maybe like a 20 24 millimeter uh, and actually it's something very similar to what the phantoms are running now I think they're roughly have a 90 degree point of view so so roughly about a 20 this makes it about a 24 um, which is really similar to what I'm shooting at right now first example so the first example I went to go I flew at the um, I flew at the waterfalls uh, really close to my house and um, the both of the videos I shot at 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second. What I did notice was that I could pick up shakes more. You may or may not be able to find, uh, look at the footage, um, but if you take a look at it, you can definitely see more shake. Um, I'm not sure, I have to narrow this down, but it seems if I fly things manually, the shake is more pronounced, but if I do cable cam, that tends to disappear. So here's a second example. Okay, so as you can see, I flew this roughly about 5, 6 or more, more like between 6 and 6.30 right after dusk. So the sun was already setting or was already set. Um, all you had was city lights close, uh, or, uh, all you had was city lights close to around the area, which is really nice. Um, but it wasn't so grainy or anything like that. I was really surprised with the footage that came out. Uh, as the first footage you saw, you definitely see shakes more. I have to keep that in mind. Uh, when I fly manually, definitely this will pop out more. I didn't do any post-processing using warp stabilizer or anything like that. But overall, I think the 4.4 is perfect for me. I like the more little, uh, it gives it a more cinematic look. Also, uh, I like the narrow field of view. I said in the previous video, there is a, a little bit of the lens still sticking out from the stock lens, but uh, in the underwater casing, which I'm going to show now, um, it fits uh, snugly just right. There's no, it doesn't, there's no binding or anything like that. And there's actually some gap here. I, I did the measuring. It doesn't push up against the front of it, so it doesn't affect the underwater case if you had any concerns with that. It does stick out a little bit, so if you're putting a filter directly onto the front of the GoPro, you might run into some problems as far as clearances. Again, this was just a short-term review of uh, using the 4.4 millimeter lens. Hopefully you liked this video. Uh, thank you guys for following me. I appreciate all your, um, I appreciate all your help. Please, please, please do click on the button below to subscribe to my channel like and um, leave a comment. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.